Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Let's take you back about two years ago when I got a very, very special email. Let me take you back to December 4th, 2019, when I got a very special email from Madame Tussaud. An email asking me if I would like to have my own wax figure here in Amsterdam. Wh what? <laughs> And I always heard people saying, well, it takes a lot of time making these wax figures, but I never anticipated for it to cost this much work. But guys, guess what? You get an email asking if you want to get your own wax figure. Of course you say yes. I mean, here in Holland, if you have your own wax figure, you made it, honey. You made it. <laughs> But how does getting your own wax figure exactly work? Well, first of all, you gotta determine what you wanna look like for the rest of time. <laughs> so it was up to me to come up with a makeup look that would make me truly feel like the strongest, most confident Nikki out there, but yet one that I wasn't gonna get tired of after a year. So this was my game plan. So what I have to do today is do my makeup however I wanted to look on the wax figure for the rest of its life. You could call this a challenge where you could be like, this is the makeup I wear when I die. Or like, if I had to choose one makeup look that I could only wear for the rest of my life, this will be it because it's gonna go on that wax figure for the rest of its life. So at first I was thinking about it and I was like, oh my God, I have to do like a colorful cut crease or like a colorful inner corner. And then I was like, but that's so, time sensitive that maybe six years from now, I'm gonna hate that look. So I decided to go for something safe. Of course, the one thing that shall always remain is a full coverage base. So let's get that on. You know, if you really thought I was gonna tone down my foundation for my Madame Tussauds wax figure, you're wrong. <laughs> All right, so my brows and eyes are done and I went for a in my opinion, timeless bronze pulled out smoky eye with flirty long ass lashes. And I feel like this is exactly how I wanna be remembered as a wax figure. So it's time to pull this face together. I'm gonna bronze, let's bronze. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm doing my makeup now. I don't have to do my hair, guess why? Comment down below why you think I don't have to do my hair. The wax figure is gonna get a wig that is inspired by all my hairdos throughout time. And usually I have like my soft wave going on. I have like my little 40s wave at the front going on. So they're gonna create a wig that looks like my hair and that is going on the wax figure. Oh, by the way, today is posing day. So we're meeting up in a hotel near me and I am gonna pose for them. I don't know how long it's gonna take them, but I've been told that for around two to three hours, I gotta hold my pose and they're gonna, I don't know, sketch, measure, do all of the, the stuff you need to do to create a wax figure. And of course, for lips, I'm gonna do a bomb as glossy new lip. All right, next up, outfit. And this was hard, really hard. So Madame Tussaud, by the way, we pronounce it as Madame Tussaud here in Holland, so that's how I'm gonna say it here. <laughs> so Madame asked me to come up with three outfits. So I asked my lovely stylist, Gabby, to help me out with this one. Now, when working on this wax figure, you want something timeless yet totally you. Something that embodies you and makes you look good, first of all, but also doesn't get boring after a while. Do we know if the doll rotates? So she, <laughs> can make so she does this all day. <laughs> <laughs> this one was the most wow, I feel. This one I want for home. <laughs> I really like this one too. Oh yeah, oh God. So we have three options. Oh God, I love all of them. I love this one with the rainbow because it's, you know, it's the gear for me of coming out. This I want to take home. The jean. The blue, I feel like the blue is the most like, kabam. World star. Yeah, world star. Yeah, world star. We like world star. Um, and the black is super chic. Like, ooh, she high class lady. And of course, we have my hair. And you make all the jewelry. We have all of this mm -hmm. <laughs> going on. I'm known for wearing my black leggings or black pants with a t-shirt and like a cool blazer, 
but we wanted to go that extra mile for this outfit. Gabby put a bunch of stuff together, so it was time to fit it all and see what the magical combination would be. Heck, I think we tried it all. <laughs> We also had this crazy sparkly blue jacket that totally captivated my heart. We decided to check out which t-shirts would look best with that sparkly blue craziness, but also kept our mind open to other options, like this crazy jeans jacket with the spikes and leather. And guys, having to decide what your wax figure is gonna wear for the, for the end of time, basically, is a daunting task. And when you think just the outfit is enough, this wax figure has to look exactly like me. So we had to find jewelry that I would obsess over and that would go on the figure. And you guys know I love my piercings, I love my bling. So also another really daunting task. <laughs> Ultimately, the one thing we really noticed was that every time I looked at that jean jacket with the spikes, I said, this has to come home with me. And when I say something has to come home with me, that actually tells you that I love it that much that it should actually be going on the wax figure. And this tells the people to back off, you know, keep a distance from the artwork that is me. Let's get one more. Perfect. Cool, thank you. <laughs> so I'm Lauren, one of the photographers for Madame Two Swords, and I'm gonna be doing the photography and scanning at the sitting today. So we use a turntable in the shoot today, which Nikki will stand on, and we rotate that all around so we get images 360 all the way around her body, and that really helps the sculptors just see every angle all around her body. So we've got the plumb lines on the wall. They are what the sculptors will use along with the ground chart that Nikki's standing on on the turntable. So when the images are printed, um, the sculptors use all the lines, match them up, and use them to plumb the clay figure from. They line it all up and make sure that there is no distortions with the figure. So sometimes if the camera's too high, then obviously you're going to get a larger head and shoulders and tiny feet. Um, so that's why the camera needs to be at hip height. Um, so everything's in the right proportion. I just have to lift all the cameras up. Because <laughs> oh, okay. these, all my cameras need to be at hip height basically for you. So I kind of judged your height a little bit taller than me, but you're a little bit taller than that, which is great. <laughs> It's not really a creative shoot today, it's more of a technical shoot. Yeah, so it's just not as creative, not as um, easy for Nikki herself to stand there still for three hours. <laughs> this is so surreal. They take a photo of every inch of your body. If that doesn't make you self-aware, I don't know what does. Oh, my knee hurts. <laughs> Please do explain what's going on in here. <laughs> These, this is a spectrum map. You put this on your face, on a flat surface, <gasps> and you get the color. It's mainly pr prosthetics and things like that, oh people with false limbs. But this is what, it records the color, oh and no. then it gives the ingredients, and then you have different colored clay, and you mix it together, wow. and you come up with these. So I have been sculpting as a working sculptor for um, about 25 years, so, um, and a lot of that has been working for Madame Tussauds, which is now Merlin Entertainment. Who else have you worked on? Um, <gasps> that is so real. That's, that's, that that's, is so that's real. That's just new, that one. Yeah. First of all, we will take pictures all around the head, and then we'll take all around the body, we'll take different angles, um, and then we will take measurements of, uh, of her face and of her body. And yeah, basically just getting as, as much information as we possibly can. Um, any sort of maybe makeup tips or anything that will help us and the people who will do a particular work on the figure that will make it look as good as it possibly can. This is all hand painted. No, that's right. You said grey with a tint of green. Work. And then you just flip that round, Paul, so I can see the code oh, yeah. on the other side. Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm James Bond. Here you go. <laughs> so what happened is I have always told people that I have a very intricate color eyes. So we had about, I don't even know, like five test eyeballs and I am I am C. Let's see. I am none of these. <laughs> Oh, I'm this one. This is my eyeball. This is my color. Do you see? Me. Hopefully. And then the outside, like, do you see like that rim? How it's a little bit blurry? 
I match Mr. James Bond himself, Daniel the Great. Mm. <laughs> All right, so earlier you told me that you wanted my lashes to be as real as possible. Absolutely. So I can give them to you. Wonderful. Okay, so perfect. do you want my right eye and then this lovely lady right here is going to maintain me yes. in the actual <laughs> Madame Tussauds. So do you want my left eye? Um, yeah, sure. Okay, here yeah. we go. Sharing lashes oh, is for God. everyone. Oh, there you go. Thank you. And you get a lash. Wonderful. And you get a lash. Wonderful. And you get a lash. So you are gonna keep me looking fresh and cute yeah. every single day because apparently people people are gonna touch hair, yeah. touch lashes, everything, touch all everything. of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna maintain the the makeup. Trying to. Oh, do you want me to send you a list of what I'm wearing? Yeah. Oh, great. That will be perfect. You got it. <laughs> all right, so all measurements are done. They yeah. took all my sizes, all my measurements. We put dots on me. We took so many photos of me. And now, thank you. We're gonna do what? Do you want to take these off? Oh, no, it's fine. Oh, you can keep <laughs> okay. So now, in six weeks from today, we're gonna see the first sort of like stages. Stages of me. Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> see you in London. Now, I love how I said, I'm gonna see you in London, but Karuni Tooney times hit, and sadly, I couldn't make it to London. Now, my wax figure was built in London by these amazing, amazing sculptors. And usually, they do like the measurements back at home, and then after a couple of weeks, you go to London, and they do one final check to really pinpoint your exact measurements and get it right. But unfortunately, for my wax figure, we couldn't do that. Corona 20 times hit, we couldn't go anywhere. So after measuring me from head to toe, from inch to inch, measured completely, it was time for the sculptors to create a life-size clay model of my head. Now, as you can see, this clay model looks exactly like me and it is nuts it is nuts to see stroke by stroke and scrape by scrape they fine-tune everything exactly to a T to match to my head it's so surreal to see after working endlessly on perfecting my head and getting it as close to reality as possible a steel frame is created for the body after this, a plaster mold is made specifically for the clay head, and this mold is removed from the clay head and pieced together. After it's pieced together, hot wax is poured into the hollow mold. Once the wax is cooled down, the plaster mold will be removed, and voila! It is alien versus predator, but I am definitely alien. I mean, that... <laughs> That back of the head, oh my, she's got a big head, honey. I did ask them, I was like, is my head really this big? And they were like, no, we just know you like volume. So we just give you like a bigger skull, <laughs> you know, less hair, more skull. <laughs> All right, now it is time to transform this wax head from alien to Nikki, which is pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Hand-painted acrylic eyeballs are put in the eye sockets. And like I said, it's a very proud moment of mine to know that I have the same eye rings <laughs> as Danielle Craig. It's Bond, Nikki Bond. After this, about 10 layers, you guys, 10 layers of paint are used to create the correct skin tone. But not just skin tone, the features, makeup, everything. All the hair on the head is dyed and styled exactly to match me. And guess what? Every piece of hair is added one strand at a time to the wax model. That is crazy. And you guys know I love my full hair, so that, that must have taken ages. After this, of course, I'm not just the head. You know, I am on YouTube and all you see is my head and shoulders, but I do have a body. Now, like I said, usually you go to London and see for yourself what it looks like. But for me, that measurement day was it. I had no idea what my figure looked like, if it even looked a little bit like me. So you can guess that the first time that I saw myself was quite the moment. This will be the first time I see Myself, my twin. We don't know if she's gonna be evil or good. <laughs> um, it's just so surreal to be here and to, and to, oh my God. Okay, I just wanna see myself. Okay, backstage. Oh, that's me! Oh, wow. Oh my God, that's me! Oh my God. Oh, oh no. Oh no! I am scared. What the fuck? What the act? Oh my god. Oh, 
I'm afraid of her. Hello? Oh my God. Even the ears look like mine. <gasps> I feel like she's gonna move at any second. <laughs> Holy crap. Hey, what's up? I feel like she's gonna move at any second. It's so scary. Oh my God, girl. <gasps> Is that what my profile looks like? I have a good nose. <laughs> Wait, what does my back look like? Oh, girl. Oh, and the hair? Oh my God. Oh my God. And it's crazy how it's my height. I'm tall. <laughs> Is this what people see when I walk in? So th there's one thing that totally freaks me out. There's one wrinkle in my under eye that only I know about, but she has it as well. Look, it's this one. This one right here. I have that, and I thought I was the only one who knew that I had that, but you have it too. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> ze is lief hoor, ze is heel lief. Ja, ik heb even met ze gepraat, ze vindt het oké. Okay. Toch? Zeg maar ja. 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 Goed zo, ja. Hé hey, meid, heb je het naar je zin? And now because it is October and Halloween is around the corner, of course I had to take this opportunity to prank a couple of the visitors. <laughs> you guys, what do you think? Does she look like me? <laughs> Welcome! Oh. Oh. Welcome! Oh. Welcome, hello. Ah. I'm brand new. Ah, hello. <laughs> hello. hello. You're very tall. <laughs> Hi! All right, thank you so much for watching this crazy, crazy video. I had a blast. I hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And don't forget to check me and my wrinkle out in Amsterdam. Say bye. Don't be shy. You can say, don't be shy. Hello? <laughs> bye! <laughs>